This is Meet Your Neighbor. Each year in the U.S., about 2.8 million people sustain a traumatic brain injury. But there are other side effects that aren't necessarily commonly known that we need to pay attention to as well. Joining me today for Meet Your Neighbor is Dr. PZ Allred with ACI Hearing and Balance Center. Doctor, what are some of the other things we need to be looking out for as a result of a traumatic brain injury? So a lot of times what happens when you have a traumatic brain injury, um, you can suffer anything from a mild concussion to obviously much more severe injuries. And what happens is the physicians are, of course, looking at the more severe injuries first, and they forget about hearing. The ear is very delicate, so it can very easily become damaged. And not only hearing loss, but you're also looking at possible balance problems and ringing in the ears. 53% um, of people who have a traumatic brain injury can actually suffer from ringing in their ears. So it's important that we want to retest their hearing or test their hearing pretty soon after they've had any injury. Now, if someone does sustain a traumatic brain injury, but their doctor or physician does not check their hearing, what do you suggest they do then? Well, of course, when they are physically able to do that, you want to check it right away. Because if you've had any changes, we want to make sure that we address that immediately, in particular with any hearing loss, so you don't later have ringing in your ears when it's something we could have possibly prevented at that time. Also, you can have a temporary hearing loss for maybe something that is medically wrong, or you may have a permanent hearing loss where it's something that needs, we need to look into it further or possible look with hearing aids. And what are some symptoms that we might be able to look out for that hearing loss may be becoming an issue? So, of course, like anything else with hearing loss, if you're asking people to repeat, if you're having difficulty with the television, the other thing to think about, it may also be even further up in the brain system. So, you might be able to hear, but you're not able to maybe understand as well. So, we want to look into that too and see if it's just a hearing loss or is it something else further up in the brain that resulted from this injury. Anyone who has sustained a traumatic brain injury, make sure you're paying attention to how everything is working up there, making sure if you're noticing any changes that you are talking with your doctor about that and seeing an audiologist if you think you may be having hearing loss issues. And again, all, as always, the folks at ACI Hearing and Balance Center will take great care of you.